Hey guys, it's Natasha and welcome back to my channel and I hope you guys are having a great and wonderful day. Like my friend Natalie beautifully says on Instagram, sometimes you have to read the room and realize that there's a time and place for things and I just didn't think it was appropriate for me to post the video that I had originally planned for today given the facts of the events that have been happening the last couple days and I just wanted to take a couple minutes of your day today to just like talk, have a discussion. I know it's a one-sided discussion because you're going to be listening and then I'm going to be the talking but if you have anything to say make sure to leave anything down below and let me know. Like I said I read The Room and based on that I thought it was appropriate to do a video given on the current events that are happening in our world today there is a lot of protests going on there's a lot of riots going on and i don't have a specific topic on this video i'm just gonna start talking and hopefully get somewhere and speak about something that might inspire you or something that might interest you and you want to look up some more so before i say anything I want to start off by saying that this is the first time that a lot of us are doing something like this out of this magnitude. This is the first time that a lot of us are having to fight firsthand and it's us fighting instead of reading about other people in history books fighting for some rights. This is the first time that we're doing it and because it is the first time we don't know what we're doing. We have read of other people past and we have read of things that people have done in the past but we don't know specifically what it comes when it comes to our generation, we don't know what we're supposed to do. And I say this because I've seen a lot of people doing like a little cat fight online and basically it's like some people are trying and they're doing everything that they can to spread the word and share information and keep people inspired and then there's those that are saying like, well, you're not doing it right. And yeah, we're not doing it right. This is the first time we're doing it. And as we do things, it's when we're gonna find out if we're doing things right or wrong. I'm gonna take the black screen, um, Blackout Tuesday as an example. I thought it was a fantastic idea when I first started. I thought it was my way to show solidarity. I thought it was my way to be able to protest and not be there. I'm not allowed to leave my house. So the only way I can protest is online. And when I first heard of it, I was like, you know what? I've had already been active on my Instagram. I was already sharing things with the people that fo follow me. I was already sharing my ideas, my thoughts, um, ways to help. And I was already doing that. And I just thought this was something else that I could help with to bring awareness. And I did it, you know, I shared my black screen and as the day went on a lot of people are saying well this is not the most effective way to do it you know there's no point of actually doing this because it's not getting a point across and you know some of the things that they said yeah maybe it was not the most smart thing to do because it blocked pretty much everything and then the important news that needed to come in wasn't coming in but these are mistakes that we're gonna make regardless along the way because no one really knows how to do this correctly honey if we had a book on how to stop this we would have stopped this already. Like no one wants to be in this longer than they can. We want to be able to get out of this whole situation and find justice and peace for all. But at the point right now, no one really has that handbook. So we're gonna keep trying different things. We're gonna keep trying to do different things to show our support. Some of them might work, some of them might fail, but that is something that we're gonna learn along. Just wanted to get that out there. The reason I titled this video the way that I did is because Black Lives Matter. There are a lot of people that are coming up with the argument, well, Natasha, all lives matter. I've read that a lot of comments in the past few days. Well, here is the thing. All lives can't matter until black lives matter. And I'm not saying that all lives don't. Well, that kind of that's kind of what I'm saying. I'm saying that if black lives matter was in the statement and included in the idea that all lives did matter, then we wouldn't have the movement of Black Lives Matter. People are taking time to show this specific movement because when someone is hurt, that is what you go to. So to explain this, I'm just going to pick one of the analogies of the many that I've seen online because they're scripted in such a beautiful way. So there is one about two houses, one is burning and one is not. So and there's two people in the story. So someone is pointing the hose at the house that isn't burning and the other one's like, oh, dude, this house is burning. Let's point the hose here. And his response is all houses matter. And that's kind of how people sound when they say all houses matter. We always help the person that needs the most aid at that point. And right now, the people that need the most aid, and I know there's so many more minority groups going through their own stuff at this point, and I'm not taking away from the importance of their events. I know my Native Americans are having a very hard time right now, and 
other minority groups are also having a hard time. Ugh, I don't even know how to phrase this without getting attacked. Right now we're just focusing on this one because this is also a group that needs the attention and that's why black lives matter. So basically what I'm trying to say is that we can't say all lives matter until people of my skin color can go outside on a jog and not get killed. We can't say all lives matter until people can be in their apartments and the police come in having already arrested the person that they needed to arrest in, but still proceed to shoot the person peacefully living in their apartment. We can't say all lives matter until people of my skin color can get a ticket without the possibility of getting killed or being killed. And that goes for being stopped at by a cop on the freeway, that goes for maybe using a counterfeit bill at a supermarket. The regular procedure of using a counterfeit bill is that the police comes in, checks the document that is counterfeit, either be a check or bill, whatever it is, writes you a citation and leaves. But apparently now we have the possibility of getting killed for that too. We can't say all lives matter until I'm actually 100% sure that my parents, my dad can go outside go grocery shopping and safely come back. That's what George Floyd did, no? He went outside to grab something and he didn't come back. We can't say all lives matter until I'm sure that my brother can go out and play with his friends and not have the possibility of being targeted. So that is why we say black lives matter because there's so many things in the system that goes against color and that's the, that. We have reached the point in the conversation that we can't hide the fact that this is about color. This is about race, point blank, period. It is a very black and white situation. It's either you have lighter complexion, lighter skin, you're white and you have some privilege, or you are a black brother and sister, you're a melanated brother and sister, you're a person of color, and you're getting oppressed. Period. That is the fact of the matter, that is the world that we live in today. And we already know the situation at hand. Racial prejudice. We know that there is systemic racism. We know that we're getting oppressed each and every day. We know that People of color can't go out with the same rights and opportunities that a white folk can. And I hate to be the person that speaks so black and white about this, but that's what it is. It, it is, has now become a black and white subject. So we need to speak about it how it is. And I feel like at this point, we, everyone knows what the issue is. And I really don't know what my message was in this video. I just knew that I wanted to go ahead and open up the conversation. I feel like it's so much more personable when you're watching a video and getting to like, I guess, kind of communicate with someone about the issue. A lot of people have been doing their part talking about it on Instagram and on Twitter, but all of that has been behind a screen, you know? I feel like YouTube was another platform that I had that I haven't, I just hadn't used yet to speak about this issue. I was I've been very vocal on Instagram. I don't use Twitter a lot, so I don't have a lot to say there. And I have spoken about it on TikTok and I just haven't said anything on YouTube. And I thought, you know, but even with my small following, I still have the opportunity and the platform to speak about it. Anyone who has any sort of platform has the opportunity and chance to speak about this issue. And I just think it's really important to start in having this conversation. We already know the issue at hand. We have reached a point where becoming silently non-racist is not enough. You have to be actively anti-racist. That's what people have been saying these days online because there is just so much to speak about, so much to talk about. I could go in so many directions with this video. There's so many things that I could just like go ahead and dive in, but I just wanna invite you. Mostly, this is just an invitation to have the conversation. A couple days on my Instagram, I invited whoever was following me to have this conversation at home. A lot of these mindsets start at the home. They start at the workplace, on the playground. No one is born racist. Period. Like no one is born, right? that is not something that someone is born with. That is something that you learn as you grow up. These are ideologies that you learn as you grow up. And why I say it's really important to have these conversations at the home, because at the home is where you're gonna get the support. Some people don't get the support at home. Or just have these conversations with your friends if you don't get the support at home. But the most important thing is, is just start having these conversations. If you come from a family where you are actually the first one to break from this generation of having these thoughts against like the entire society or like a part of the society minority then good job for like breaking out of the spell just because your parents have these thoughts doesn't mean you have to have them as well and if you break out of it now it's time for you to you know start the conversation with them and let them know of what's going on around the world and why it's important for them to change their mindset so that we can all come together and help we have so much power as black people as people of color to 
come together and just like help each other out in this situation and I think that's the most beautiful thing I've seen lately the amount of power that we all have in the community to come together and fight for what is right I feel like I've already I knew this issue was an issue all my life so, as someone of a darker complexion I have experienced some things I have seen some things and I knew that my experiences weren't the same as everyone else's experiences and the second that it became a more publicized thing the second that it was like okay we're all gonna fight for this and the second that I realized like okay this is our time to fight for it was when I started seeing it go international I know the George Floyd case happened in the United States. The second I saw people were doing protests in New Zealand, protests in the United Kingdom, that's when I realized that this is a really big issue and people have had enough. They've had enough of this entire thing and it's going global because Black Lives Matter here. They matter in Spain. They matter in Brazil. They matter in anywhere. They matter all everywhere. And until we fight and get justice for black lives and we can finally be included properly in the statement all lives matter then we're going to keep continuing using black lives matter so hopefully i said something that inspired you um i don't know i if you want to have a conversation with me feel free to have it if it's a very open constructive conversation if you're coming with me in the idea that you're going to say everything that i said wrong and you're going to undermine me i prefer not to have those conversations because conversations and healthy conversations are one where both parties are consistently listening and giving input and if you're not in that mindset to have that conversation right now, it's okay. But for those who are, I welcome you to my Instagram at Natasha Mathurin. I've been having awesome conversations with people in the past couple days. And we've been able to learn so much from each other's perspective that I would love to have that conversation with you. If you have anything to say, leave a comment down below. This is just mostly an invitation to have the conversation. Because we have all these platforms and I haven't seen a lot of people speak about it on YouTube yet. And I just thought I would bring it over here. Um, I love you guys. Please stay safe if you are protesting i've heard crazy things that have been happening in the protests so please stay safe do all that you can and i'll leave any links down below to the petition that literally takes you two seconds i right now stop right now and sign the petition if you have it it takes two seconds and i don't know what else how else to advertise it just do it nike um so i'll leave the petition down below i'll leave any of the charities that you can donate if you can't and you don't have the financial stability to, to donate there's so many other ways that you can help donate without having to give your money directly you can watch other people's youtube videos you can support black owned businesses there's so many things you can do um that's it if this is a break from my regular scheduled content i didn't think it was appropriate for me to put the video today pretend that everything was okay with the world when clearly it wasn't um i love you guys hopefully we can keep shedding light and positivity hopefully we'll be back with a regular video next week but if not then we'll be back to another chat i love you guys and i'll see you guys next week bye